Okay, so trying it again. So it was Rhino with a mess of things on Expert. Hmm. Okay, uh, first thing we need to do is get out breaking and taking. And make sure that my thing got shuffled in. Hey there, flip that. Nick Fury turn one lets me remove that, so I definitely keep him. Which means I definitely keep the ton of resource cards that I have in hand. I want to keep the web shooter. I think I mulligan these last two. Oh. Um. Ooh, enraged Nick Fury. No, he's not attacking, so there's no point in enraging him. Let's start by spending four to play Nick Fury, who in this case will draw three cards, and I'm 100% sure this is the correct call. A double enraged Nick Fury and hit for six. Um, I am not going to double enraged Nick Fury and hit for six. That sounds silly. Uh, probably just want to set up all these resource cards. Uh, three cards, one, two, three. Now we'll go one, two, three, and we'll hold on to one of the enrages in case I get a good target for it next turn. No, wait. One. Then we flip. Then we spend two. Then we spend three to play the web kick. Bring him down to seven. Then we fought with both of these characters to remove. That was the wrong one. I put the right amount of bread on it, but I had the wrong side scheme out. So grab the breaking and taking. Breaking and taking's in the discard, not crowd control. Crowd control's back in the deck, and I've, re and I've shuffled it again. Uh, so, that's the end of the turn. Two enrages are out of the deck, though, is a bit of a problem for me when that's my game plan. Oh well, I'll get Black Hat set up and I'll get it, I'll enrage her on the second round through. Okay, one up here, Nick Fury blocks. Get attacked. It's two extra, so what's that? Five? Nick Fury dies. Then we get one card. Uh, then we get two cards, so we reveal the top one immediately. And then another one for the search. Uh, that one, he just comes into play and sits with me. Might make Tiger worth playing. You can have a tough icon, that's fine. Ooh, I have two resources in play. I have Tigra and Mockingbird in hand.
Only if I flip to Alter Ego can I make use of both. I like the idea of getting both though. But if I'm going to flip, I want to remove all the bread. So we'll move our bread up here. We'll then. One, two. Why is that not letting me remove them? There we go. Um, three. Set up a mockingbird. We add stun for that. Mockingbird attacks here. I then flip. It's a little dangerous. We could very well lose the exact same thing that killed me last time. Uh, and that will kill the mercenary and cause consequential damage is after the healing. I can't use that, sadly. Uh, and we get to draw full hand of cards. Black Cat. Good. Okay, he's scheming on me. And then we get our card. And it's not scheme. Uh, he will heal here. The swing web kick on turn one means that he actually has some damage to heal. Okay, so the card that is least useful here is the Spider Tracer. So you Spider Tracer and Genius to play Black Cat. Oh, I should start the hero phase. I don't think that started, but whatever. Uh, discards two. That is not a red card. That is blue. That's a red. That's blue. So we grab those in the right order. Um, let's just use Black Cat to ping off the tough. Let's flip, because I don't see any reason not to. Okay, let's pay three. Might as well use the cards in hand. Why a swinging web kick? Oh, letting you on three. Attacks and defeats a minion. That's minion specific. I'm going to attach this to the black cat. And then I'll attack with Tigra. I'm going to attack with Mockingbird. Which will trigger the next stage. Let me roll 16. Uh, and adds a top here and a stun to me. Which I'm just going to remove immediately. Hmm. This is looking pretty dangerous. Um, the rest of it looks pretty good though. I can probably just rush it out. Unless I get a minion, in which case this just becomes really good. Uh, 
Mm. Okay, I got that. I got that, so I'm safe from advance this turn. That's good. Uh, we've already done that. We've got to remove the stun. And then one card. So I can really stun lock. Ooh. That's to each hero, right? Yes. I will take that. Okay, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I want to put a spider tracer up here. I want to melee, I think, after I spider trace. That'll kill that and that and hit that. Um, this doesn't have guards, so let's just send that at it. I haven't got me enraged yet, so. Let's remove the tough. Seems fair. Uh, let's. Keep one of these by using both of these. I don't think that's worth it. Um, so the only way I can afford the two cards that I really want to play is to use. That and melee. Three damage here, killing this, taking three bread off the scheme. One, two, three. Uh, then melee allows me to attack here. For the, it's putting him down to 13. And then I attack for two, putting him down to 11. These can only do three damage, it's not worth throwing them at it when I can use them for blockers beforehand. So, let's start the villain phase. Put one up here. And I'm finally going to get the enraged thing. I'm finally going to get the enraged, and it's too late. Uh, he's attacking, I'm blocking with Mockingbird. Mockingbird's less useful than Tigra, just stat line wise. No benefit there. Mockingbird dies. Uh, one card. Attacking me again. Oh, I should have drawn when I got attacked. Spider Sense should have triggered. Uh, And then Spider should, should trigger for this as well. Uh, I'm just going to take it because I got a backflip. Backflip. Oh, I forgot to check on that actually. I uh, actually did. Just two icons. Okay, we're good. Okay. Now. Let's just have some fun with this. Uh, let's enrage Black Cat. Black Cat attacks for three, taking a damage. And then swinging web kick. Oh, let me discard those. Supply swinging web kick for eight. Hmm. Really wasn't able to show off what I what I like doing with this. It's a bit of a shame getting all those enraged earlies early. I suppose I also don't have a lot of allies just yet. It's hard to use it. Oh, we we won. At least, easiest encounter. Could have lost to an advance at one point. It's always a risk with Rhino. With any character that doesn't have a really strong thought. Um, yeah, 
Cool. Uh, so that's that's that. Uh, we have won, but I'm not overly happy with our. Wasn't it like a convincing win? It's not overly happy with that. But that's what happens when you take a deck that was only ever designed for duo and try running it solo. It's not self-sufficient enough. But that's not to say that I won't keep trying. Um, and I'm thinking core. I'm thinking core. So I'll see you next time when I've got core set up.